Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else, marriage. Hey, hey guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Tabitha Brown says my toughest battles is in my marriage but being called a witch. The Bible says the battle does not belong to you but to the Lord. You know, I didn't know that so many people were calling and were tagging Tabitha Brown on TikTok as a witch. As a matter of fact, I learned about this maybe two months ago and I don't want to get into the details of how I found out the separate information but I had to go back and do my research y'all in doing that I found out that Amanda Seals called Tabitha a witch she did an interview with her just last year in 2023 and initially I was like oh no you know my precious Tabitha Brown who I admire so much may I add is not who she is portraying to be well honey after listening to the interview Tabitha did with Amanda Seals, I was like, oh no, honey, Amanda Seals doesn't know what a spiritual gift is. Um, people love to call me like a witch or, or, or crazy. Like there's a certain amount of people, I guess, like on TikTok, uh, TikTok and stuff, they be like, oh, that, she a witch, you know? And I'm like, I'm not a witch. Right. And so Tabitha Brown is promoting her new book called I Did a New Thing and she went on the Breakfast Club to promote it. She told Charlemagne the God and DJ Envy that she will not shy away from her gifts. Even though people have called me crazy, she says. So many people like to call me a witch. There's a certain amount of people on TikTok that be like, she is a witch. And I say, I'm not a witch. I know what my purpose is. I know I have a gift. I give God all the credit for everything I am. My purpose is to love people uplift them help heal people and if god gives me a word i'm going to share it and so that's what she said on the breakfast club and what i have learned is that a lot of people really can't hear from god you know they don't know what his voice sounds like or what his character is and so for many people his voice does sound differently but the fact that people think that that tabitha's gift isn't spiritual and it's a form of witchcraft is an attack honey i think about how so many people are busy believing a lie than the truth tabitha does describe herself as as gifted than most people and she says I can hear a voice that sounds like a hummingbird fluttering in my ear I can see it dream it and I am a seer and most of my dreams do come true and so you know from what I've heard personally a lot of people do have gifts but if you were to see what a real angel looks like and not what the world paints a godly angel to look like honey then a lot of us may be afraid and that is not what God wants and so Tabitha says there are so many people who know her and y'all they have hate on her because they think she is fake because she's nice and so I do want to leave you with a clip of Tabitha speaking open and honestly with tears in her eyes honey about all of this but before I do everybody doesn't feel that Tabitha Brown is a witch someone wrote unreal how could anyone not like Tabitha I feel the goodness in her spirit someone else wrote she's such a calm peaceful presence she's a beautiful aura and so before I wrap this video how do you all feel about Tabitha being called a witch and about her having spiritual gifts but people are accusing it as witchcraft my goodness if she wasn't a strong individual i can only imagine what this would do to someone like her so y'all take a listen to the clip leave your thoughts in the comment section of this video as always thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it i will talk to you guys in the next video i was in prayer about this all night i said god give me uh words of spirit okay uh many of you know uh if you read my first book being the soul i talked about my gifts uh this you know, last few days, Shannon Sharp talked about it on uh, an interview with Stephen A. And I've been getting so many, like, evil messages. Then I went to uh, the Beyonce concert, more evil messages. And I want to remind you of something. Uh, or in the event that you, you did not know this about Tam, uh, I'm very clear on the assignment God has me on. I'm very clear on the assignment that God has me on. My assignment was not taught to me. It was deposited inside of me. And God was very clear with me about what he has for me to do. And I'm doing it every day. I live a life of obedience for him, not for anybody else. Uh, but what I want to encourage and remind many of you is you must be careful with your flesh talk you must be careful with what you project the things that you were taught that are wrong um you're creating evil within yourself god did not deposit that inside of you 
Men taught you that. And now you're continuing to put out evil, unkind things. And God is not pleased with it. So my prayer is, God, please forgive them for they know not what they do. But most importantly, God, please have mercy on them. Life is already very tough. A lot of things have been in shambles because of your flesh walk, because of the evil that you're putting out. In order for those things to cease, you're going to have to get right. And it ain't going to be at the cost of other people. That's going to be work you got to do. No matter how much you try to act like God deposited this inside of you, he did not. That's something you were taught. And you're continuing to put it out into the world as hate. And you're not leading anybody to Christ that way. So be careful. Be very careful. He sees all, knows all, and is all. I'm very clear about my walk. And I hope and I pray you can get clear about yours too. All right, so that's it, honey. I want y'all to go about your business. Have the most amazing day. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's in. Very good. Bye-bye.